In this video, we're going to cover how to install site stats to the dashboard of your WordPress site. In order to do this, we're going to need to click on Add New to add a new plugin to our site. And once we're on the Install Plugins page, we need to search for a plugin called Jetpack. You should be looking for Jetpack by WordPress.com in your search results. Once you've located it, all you need to do is click on the Install Now link and then verify that you want to install this plugin on your site. Once the plugin is finished installing on our site, all we need to do is click on the Activate Plugin link to activate our plugin. Once the plugin has been activated, we're taken back to our main plugins page where you can see we have an alert at the top of our dashboard letting us know that Jetpack is almost ready. The last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to connect to a WordPress.com account in order to finish activating the plugin. We are then taken to a sign up page where if we have a WordPress.com account, we can add our existing username and password to authorize Jetpack. In this case, we don't have an account, so we're going to need to click on the Need an Account link first. From here, we're taken to an account sign up page where we just need to verify the email address that's been auto filled for us, and we also have the opportunity to add a username. In this case, we're going to go with the one that's been suggested by default, and then we just need to add a strong password and click on the sign up button to finish the process. We're now sent to a reminder page that reminds us to check our email to complete the registration process. Inside of our email inbox, we just need to locate the activation email from WordPress.com and click on the activate account button. Once you do that, you're redirected to the Jetpack sign up page and you can see that our account is now active and we're already logged in. So the only thing we need to do at this point is click on the authorize Jetpack button. Once we're finished activating Jetpack, you're taken immediately to the dashboard of your WordPress site to a special section of the site which shows all of the modules that Jetpack includes. You can see that Jetpack has several modules installed, and you can think of each module as being something of a plugin in itself, in that it offers its own unique functionality. In future videos, we'll talk about some of the other modules you see here, but for this video, we're going to focus on configuring WordPress.com stats. All we need to do is locate that module and click on the Configure button. Next, we're taken to a configuration page where we can change a few of the options. In this case, we're going to leave everything set to default and save our configuration. You'll see an alert in your dashboard letting you know that your module settings have been saved. And from here, you can go directly to the site stats portion of your dashboard, which is located underneath Jetpack in the main dashboard navigation. And this is the area inside of your dashboard where you can see all of the visitor statistics to your website. Because we've just activated the plugin, there really isn't anything to see here at this point. So to give you a better sense of what this looks like after you've had it activated for some time, we're going to take a look at it as we have it installed on another one of our websites, which has been collecting data for quite some time. Here you can see a graph which lets us know the number of visits we've had over the last 30 days. And if you hover over any one of the bars in the graph, you can see exactly what day that is, as well as the number of views that you've had to your site on that day. If you happen to have published a blog post or a page on that day, you'll also see that information in the tooltip as well. Down below you can see we also have information for the total number of views we've had to our site since we've activated this plugin, the number of views we've had so far today, and also for comparison, the number of views we've had on our busiest day to date. Further down below you see we have other modules which allow us to understand our traffic by the referral source or where somebody was before they came to our site as well as any search engine terms they may have used in finding us in an internet search. To the right, we have the Top Posts and Pages module, which actually shows us exactly where we're having views to our site on this particular day, 